Now let's go to a video from out of this world today. Two Russian cosmonauts stepped out of the International Space Station for a spacewalk. And they're working on the European robotic arm of the station's laboratory. The goal is to move payloads and equipment outside the Russian segment of the station. And today's spacewalk comes on the eve of the Artemis launch scheduled for Saturday. They're going to try again tomorrow. Billions of people around the planet are keeping their eyes on the skies above Florida's space coast for this launch, which, as you know, was delayed from earlier this week. So on your side's Rich Donnelly joins us now with the very latest details. This is so fascinating, Rich. Yeah, Jeannie, it really is. The original Artemis launch was scrubbed because NASA determined that a bleed test to get the engines to the proper temperature for launch could not be reached. As of this morning, they believe they fixed that problem. For the past four days, NASA engineers have continued to make repairs, check and recheck the Artemis rocket with hopes of being ready for Saturday afternoon's launch window. This morning at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, the launch release systems were checked, the batteries for the flight elements were charged, and everything was moved to its final launch configuration this afternoon. And by 2 a.m. tonight, the blast danger area around the launch site will be completely cleared. NASA's deputy manager of Exploration Ground System says that everything affected Monday's scrub launch has been addressed. Our team is ready. They are getting better with every attempt and actually performed superbly um, during launch countdown number one. So in my mind, I think uh, if the conditions with weather and the hardware align, we'll absolutely go. The launch window opens at 2.17 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. And if you don't want to deal with driving south and standing next to thousands of other people, we will stream the launch live starting at 2 p.m. tomorrow on FirstCoastNews.com. Reporting Rich Donnelly, First Coast News on your side.